Before we start, um, maybe you can just share with the audience what are, what are they about to see and, and why is this relevant for this, for this session? Of course. So we always listen to our customers, and two things have been coming up quite a lot um, are the concepts of programmability and automation. Just as was mentioned in the uh, uh, Vodafone presentation before, right? So what we wanted to do is come up with a small demo that is fun, but at the same time, easy to understand uh, on stage here to demo the concepts of programmability and automation uh, using NSP APIs. So what we're going to be demoing is how you can use NSP APIs to drive your network and to consume your network. OK, but how are we going to do that? So we're going to be doing that, actually. Uh, as you can see here, it's a live demo. So I know everyone gives the advice to avoid live demos on stage, but we decided not <laughs> to take that advice. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, so I'm going to be using my phone for this. So as you can see, my phone is actually mirrored live um, on the stage here. And what I'm gonna, we can do things like, OK, Google, can you let me talk to my NSP assistant, please? Sure. Let's get the test version of NSP. Hey, Modis, how can I help you today? So as you can see here on the slide, we're assuming basically we're a large operator. And here you can see the service map of NSP. And we see a couple of sites. You see things like Athens, Amsterdam, Brussels. And we're assuming that we're managing this network. And I have a customer who is requesting a point-to-point -point service from Athens to Amsterdam with 100 megabytes per second of bandwidth. Sure, I can help with that. What would you like to call your service? Let's call it Destiny. Thanks. Please confirm that you would like to deploy a point-to-point -point service called Destiny from Athens to Amsterdam with 100 megabits per second of bandwidth. Yes, please go ahead. Your service has been created. Anything else I can help you with? So as you can see here, our service actually has been created. And this is a live demo. So um, Google Assistant basically used NSP APIs to deploy the service on the service map. And you can see this path. So this would be perfect in a normal scenario. But in the context of 5G, low latency, and faster networks, we need to check the latency for this path. Can you check the latency, please? Of course. The latency of the service path is 105 milliseconds. That's not good enough. This is a gaming service. So I would need the lowest latency path from Athens to Amsterdam. The lowest latency path goes through Brussels with a latency value of 35 milliseconds. So as you can see here, NSP controller can actually read the different latency values from the network. And if you measure the latency path um, from basically Athens going through Brussels to Amsterdam, it's going to be 35 milliseconds. Excellent. Can you please switch to this path instead? Yes, of course. It's done. So as you can see here now, the optimization call went through to optimize the service path uh, to, to use the service via Brussels. And we can also see on the service map that our service has been updated to use the new path, as you can see here. Thanks. Just before I go, I really enjoyed working with NSP, and I think everyone should use it as well. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, so, Thank you Michael. Just one last thing. One last thing before I go. A couple of colleagues dared me yesterday to take a selfie with Stasha on stage. <laughs> so I'm just going to do this very quick here. Right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.